as the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Fingy's punishable by Hey, free boy. What do I got you? Then, greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet. I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. It might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. 
a bit much, but a comp... Fine negotiation on your part, Master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Ah! Ooh, ah! Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Always got it up, El. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. <sighs> Another track. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. A doubler. Explains a lot. And complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. But I dropped it, decided not to go back. Wise choice. If anything happened to you, we'd go hungry. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. Nice scent. And here I thought temple guards were unkempt boars. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! I really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Giving me no choice. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher. That won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. 
But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know, but I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Rain again. Damn mages. Seems every time you turn around, there's more scum in Novigrad. Didn't you used to allow me if it's inside? Why is your hair so grey, darling? Need <coughs> something for an aching belly? Oh, what's ailing you, sweetie? <coughs> you have something a little like... Greetings, master. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one, or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more, and I'll not do business with you again. Buy or not? Uh, Ow! Greetings! <laughs> ah! Greetings, Ma Simpleton. Greetings, Master. Greetings, <laughs> Master. Greetings, Master. spies told him. Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. That's all I have. Had a loaf of bread. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer, aren't you? Look who's talking. I know you. Merchant! <laughs> hey, wait! Something, but not everything. I spare any monsters that aren't dangerous. Thing is, you attacked me, unprovoked, so that doesn't apply to you. Run away! Run! Run away! Seems 
because every time you turn hey, around, the war is coming. Don't push on me. We're used to a lot of shit. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. That imp of yours turned out to be a Doppler. It kept shape-shifting until I took its head. A Doppler? It seems we've no means to rid ourselves of this scourge. We burn one, another appears. Accursed pests. Perhaps now they'll give the market a wide berth at the least. I thank you, Master Witcher. In my own name... Darn it to heck! Greetings, ah, Master. Greetings. spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Merigold. That's all I have. Hey, wait! Mm. Everything alright, dear? Really? Time you turn around, there's more scum in those. It used to allow me as a sign. Must be oh. bad running Damn. around. And as before trade, days. Let me have a look. Bye. Uh, up for a few.
So long. Oh. We'll get a bonus for working in piss poor weather. Faster. I can't stand to see those mugs anymore. Ah! Why is your air so bad? Uh, no. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus George's George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Fucking come on! 
That's it, you're in for it! Come on, come closer. That's it, you're in for it! Time to end this. Sultan of Free! Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble at the inn. Ah! Will you 
you going? A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Indeed. Going on some voyage looking for a companion, right? Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one, and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which are shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Roach. Well, well, look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be... I need coin. Guess I have to take out a loan? Of course. I'll arrange it right away. Just like that? Lady Yennefer of Vengerberg long ago declared herself your guarantor. Were these circumstances ever to arise? Besides, we've tried and true methods for collecting debts. How can I... Till next time. As the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Merigold. How can... How's business? Really? That's the best you've got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting, or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir, reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think, 
But then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance. A dozen or so chests and no more. Till next time. What's your hair lately? How? You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf, is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? Aye, I play. So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not?
last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Tried your best. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquis Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. Wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. 
Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. When did you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks, so long. sucked out. A lesser vampire? Not the marks of a carcane or a flutter. Gotta be an Ekimara. Good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. As the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. As 
once the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Tri- Geralt! Careful! She's strong! <laughs> Join you for that later. Wait up for me? Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah, had a chat with the guardsman outside it. See you there. Geralt? Geralt? Let's collect our reward. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off, before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Keridin? 
asking you for the last time. Guards, to the dungeon with them. This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadins disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Is that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern Vienne frequents? Yeah. See you later. some cheese into town. To I place room. my hope in the eternal fire. All this ain't worth a dog's trick. Oh! Ah! <laughs>
tough times. Devil's dick, every man jack off you. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill him. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the Ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a Duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vienne. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. Why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band. When was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Carradine's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. 
stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresegor, Hammond to Skelliger, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresor. The kind rich men frequent, who will suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Sillies always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces, but I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Salise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck.
Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Faster. Not so fast, Roach.
This be the witch, Vavort. Come on now. Hey, you, Holt. Geralt of Rivia, correct? You were in White Orchard recently. Near Vizima. Mm hmm. Charming village, if you don't mind rotting corpses. There'd have been one more if not for you. Lena. She survived, thanks to your potion. Nice to see an elf guardian soldier so concerned about the fate of some simple Nordling. But kind of surprising, too. That night, when the griffin attacked her, she was on her way to meet me. In the woods, near the garrison. Lousy spot for a romantic encounter. If the Griffin hadn't gotten her, something else would have. I know. But I could only ever get away between watches. Those woods, they were close. Listen, Lena, she has not fully recovered. I took her with me when I was transferred. Thought she might get better. But no, she says nothing recognizes no one, sleeps most of the day. I warned Tamira. Witcher potions have powerful, usually permanent side effects. Can't do anything to help now. Maybe a mage could. I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for not letting her die with dignity. Trust me, the choice I had to make was harder. Is it true? Northern women bathe but the once every three guide us straight to Novigra. Barbarians. sniff around here. Looking for work. Wait, wait. Two swords, eyes like slits. You are a witcher, is that so? Geralt of Rivia. I have not heard the name. But you will find work here, this I know. You happened to lose a unit recently? One is missing, yes. Did you find my notice? No. Found their bodies. Female wyvern killed them. They wandered into her hunting ground. A wyvern? Blue de pist. Discovered something else. You didn't send those boys out to scout. That was a death squad. Let some Redanian prisoners out there. Executed them. War is like this. Who loses dies. Those men haven't been forgotten. Someone will come asking about them. In Nilfgaard, any soldier who is taken prisoner is as if dead. Those prisoners were from Redania. Soon to be an imperial province. Before Seovin, I wager, the great sun will fly upon banners above Redania's capital. Hey up, Nilfgaardian. Don't have the slightest desire to debate with you. Nor I you. You have earned this coin. Take it and leave me. Greetings, Master. Honor and glory, Geralt. How can I help? Show me where you're battling. So long. Greetings, Quarter. Honor and glory, Geralt. Been a while since I played cards with a subject of his Imperial Majesty. Game of Gwent? Let's lay him down.
Take it easy. Need something, Tinker? Or temper? Whoa. Stop. Show me what you can. So. Tempered, mayhaps. Three years. Three years in apprentice and he can't even oh, I must find him. I simply must. I'm not one of your soldiers. This is good. Our army refused to help. Yet help is what I need. So much so, I will ask a rock troll if required. Interesting train of thought, man. Why did you decide to look for your son now? He wrote letters. To me, to his fiancée, regularly. They would come in the post each week. And suddenly, they stopped. This was unlike him. Something had happened, I knew. His brothers in arms tell you anything? Some will not speak at all. Others lie. 
This quartermaster, for instance. He told me Herodoberth, my son, left the camp to scout and did not return. Why is that unlikely? He serves in the Light Cavalry, Nazari Brigade. My son was no scout. I require someone's help to find Herodoberth or his body. Coin is no object. What's your son look like? Unlike others, easily distinguished. In all Nilfgaard's army, I do not think there was another with his mane. Color of fire. A red-haired Nilfgaardian? His father hailed from Magturga. Folk have light complexions there. My son inherited this trait and others from his father. May I count on your help? Do my best to help you. You will not regret it. There is nothing I would not do for Herodoberth. Remember this. I'll ask around, see if I can learn something. My servant strove to do the same. He drank with the soldiery in the mess, but met no one from my son's company. It is as if it has ceased to exist. You must speak to the quartermaster. He is dismissive of me, but he will be more candid with you. I can feel it. A mother feels these things. Guess we'll see. Yeah, watch out. And women babe. greetings quartermaster oh. ran into a woman elf guardian who's looking for her son i knew this one was stubborn i did not know she would hire a witcher let's say a mother's tears moved me so you come to a murderer for help i believed you the honorable sort just want to help an elf guardian woman and i do not wish to see you again understood I'm to reveal our troop movements to some Nordling. Now focus, and tell me everything you know. Yes, I will. Red-haired whelp, Nazari Cavalry. A short time ago, he and several of his company sought to desert. I ordered them pursued. We caught some in the swamp not far from here. Others managed to flee. The men you caught, what happened to them? We hanged them. Wartime rules. But I cannot say the red-haired boy was among them. Hmm. You're an elf guardian officer. Expected you to be more conscientious. If I had reported that any had fled, I would have had to pursue them. I've neither the time nor the resources. So I wrote that all are dead. Unlikely any survived long in the swamp. See if I can't find them. I saw you in the sea. One false move and you will regret it. Pursued. Dog tracks. It's as if they were pursued. Swamp. 
dog tracks. It's as if they were pursued, tried to run, but got stuck in the bog. Great target for an arbalist. Black hair. Not who I'm looking for. Dog tracks. It's as if they were pursued. Hang your head from my saddle. to know for sure. Red hair. Probably him. Need to find something else to know for sure. Letter to his mother. The least I can do is get it to her. But that's it. Make way! My son, were you able to learn anything? I was. I wish to know the truth. Be it sweet, be it painful. I wish to know. Your son is dead. How did it happen? He deserted, was caught and hanged. Lies! Found him hanging next to others. Notice posted on the tree was clear. I do not believe you. My son was no coward. Believe what you will. Found a letter on him, addressed to you. Mother, this may well be the last time I write. In all my letters I have lied. Forgive me. I am no hero. I take no pleasure in killing Nordlings. This place is a nightmare. I have borne it until now. I can bear it no longer. Not long past, they ordered us to murder prisoners. Do you know what this means? To kill defenseless men. I must flee this place. Oh, darling child. Forever. You have found him for me. Your payment. Take it. Why do you walk here? Watch out. Go roads leads my axe. Run, Roach. Credits. Why? What's easier here? Like dung that 
blows to the sewers. So the worst. hear about the contract. Oh, well, a night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the lot, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. Let's talk about my pay first. I know what my services are worth. All right, I believe I can pay you that. Provided, of course, that you do well. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn him. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. Roach. You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? 
Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. found here. Gotta look for clues. Anything unusual. Hobnailed guard's boots. Unimportant. A child's footprints. Damn. Lots of foot traffic. Hoof prints, clearly. A horse? Hmm. <laughs> No horse I know walks on two legs. Happy for this. And we can go at it here. You're the old oh, place. Nice. What's a horde do exactly? Well, my dad told me. What do you see, uh, pain giver? Brawny thighs, stranger. <sighs> So, forgive me, I must rest. Charmed by a succubus? Gotta get in that house and see what's inside. Uh, uh, 
got pitched like a racehorse. What's this one doing here? You stupid! Can't you see he's a witcher? Lightly tracking some beast! Spare a copper or two. Have you come to kill me? Dunno. Wanna talk first? Why'd you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? I'm not one to lie. Nor do I kill without reason. You gotta leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. Succubus. Su succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. Anyway, Succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward, as promised. Farewell.
Mr. Menga, you don't, you soon will. My man carries his pitchfork ah, like you on his witcher. back. Look, I say, you both like daft. visage, the beastly eyes. Oh, this oh, is God, magic that's made a mongrel of a man. What's more, the horse son steal youngins. Yes, steal them and subject them to vile torture till the babes transform into beasts wretched as themselves. I've heard. Ballad. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question, how many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. <laughs> they said. It'll pay off, they said. Emperor's spies told him, Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Miracle. Ah. Waste of words talking to you. Then go! Be gone! <laughs> The Emperor's spies told him. Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Miracle. Ah, here. Got. For a relic, I'm pretty darn good with a sword. Now a cut where you'd bleed to death before you hit the ground. Run out of things to say? Good. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people.
Take it easy. G gentlemen, I beg you! What's this about? This Duan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies! They mean to kill me, steal my gold! Help me, please! What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf! You despise humans, seek vengeance on us! But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tag. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. Don't see any proof this man sold anyone Fistech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgen. Shame you happened on our path, and chose to stand in our way. spies told him. Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Merigold. You shall die for what you've done. I've done nothing. G huh? Gentlemen, I beg you. That What's this about? This what? Shut Don't see it. Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this. A sign of my gratitude. Blackmail me, will you? Want justice? Hire a witcher. Hey, what is it? Ah! Oh! Stand 
good fight! You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time! I've practiced with shield and sword, many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. No! I yield! Had enough? Yes, but next time... Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. You flee to Maria to the Over crippled cakes. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loot. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. God! Brandos. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad, and in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. Best behavior now. Hey, gents, time to go. I'm no swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. I, uh, oh, I'm me noggins. Newcomer, the black ones. Thanks, 
so much. We'd not have managed on our own. We're not rich. I hope this is enough. It's plenty. Farewell. Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Gods! It's just... Run those swords! But I prefer me trusty axe. Hey there, friend. What's the hmm. Keep it. He did more than I do. Thank you. He spoke like you restore my faith in humankind. What's your hair lately? It's a material world. <laughs> it's a wreck. I... Uh... Uh... It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. Oh. Material world, what? and I'm a material girl. Mm. I want more and more till you ain't got Get this. Get here. Ah! Get here, there, friend. Uh. What's the rush? Uh. 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 Ramen supper, I never refuse. Uh. Black ones, uh. Honest and always speak the truth. Oh.
So. First they kill my son, now they'll throw us out into. Can you craft something for me? Looking for someone who can forge an item based on a master's diagram. Hmm. No one I know. Not here in Novigrad at any rate. Hattori! That's who you'd want if he weren't done. Burned out, you see. He's scrunching dumplings somewhere now. Cannot say where, for I only eat at home. So long. Please let me turn. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
as the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Don't know that. to Faltus again.
Any needs, Master? Come on. The thinking customer will see right away oh, the best I'm deal for me. Look awfully suspicious to me, Trap. It's clear as the eternal fire. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Run, Roach. Uh. Uh. Hey now. Damage. Ah. Uh. Boy, there. Witch. Uh. Uh. To lead this city, so. How will you make a living? With no monsters? An abomination. Oh! Oh! Mm. oh. Just this morning, my boy, and the so news. Some mysterious murders happened in some house. Greta's got the imagination of a drunk troubadour. She never lies about a serious man. <clears throat> Some stallkeeper A stallkeeper. Another trustworthy source. Well, Everyone in Novigrad wants others to listen to. Capital of the world, they call it. 
Hard finding work here, you know, with the eternal fire. Burning flesh. You're here with the circus, yes? Capital of the world, they call it. But what's it matter? They're all the easy to find oh, dishes you. already. <sighs> <sighs> Whole day with an abomination. <laughs> Not ahead of oh. you. Watch where you step. Damn it, lost the way again. A mother found her infant dying in the sun. Just again. <coughs> the eternal flame will burn away our sins. <coughs> oh. 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 Do you know Mr. Mengo?
need some coin too, hey? Shut off, Skyver. Magic accessories. Alchemy ingredients, potions, and much more. Interesting. Don't look a bit like a mage. True. Perhaps because I'm not a mage. I just take care of the sundries the poor folk who burn at the stake leave behind. Ensure they end up in the right hands. Fine. What do you have? Naught but rarities. At unbeatable pra- Oh shit. You didn't see me here. The halfling, what did he want? And why did he bolt when he saw us coming? Left his soup on the burner. I've half a mind to put you on the burner, wise ass. Got my eye on you. Let's go! Then we'll come for you. Hmm. Quite the brew. Halfling wasn't lying. It's got to be carrying quite a ways. What did I do to deserve such a shrew for a daughter-in-law? Hey, grey hair! And you're a fine fella for not ratting me out. Prepared to give you a discount for that, mate. So, shall we trade? Yeah, let's. Hopefully no interruptions this time. Ah, Devil's spawn. <laughs> Oi, Cocker! Uh.
just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones, economically. Just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic.
cradle on the second floor. Wonder what'd happen if I laid a doll in it. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me. You're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rays. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. 
I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help, but I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently, though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Truth is, we're all ready to... something sh
So long. I'll miss a woman's touch. What do you have on offer? So long. It's a rain. That's it, Roach. dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once, did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. Had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stega Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. 
It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad, Triss was, but Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It 
symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Yes. Yes. Tastes as sweet as the first pack in book. What'll it be? What are you? Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Uh. <clears throat> oh -ho! Not hungry.
Beatrice could not help Garrett, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Not him. Something unusual.
darkness everywhere. I, I see it all around. Spare a cop for a tomb. I'll never come back, you stinking... Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth! Gear up in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't gone more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you? <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. I'm looking for Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot, I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar, your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Hmm. Huh. This is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind.
From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Annual balladry contest, Silver Laurel, awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry won themselves did the honors, and the feast afterwards, to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught us why to yodel, and I... Uh, ugh, another time. 
The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Huh. <laughs> Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies at my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Danny Lyons is not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. Else the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. 
That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sorely. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Nose is too small. Lice it, you, you mighty dwarf! Black ones, the Danians. Black ones, the Danians, as long as they pay, they don't get. Got there.
Quick job. Don't touch me. Crafted armor. Think you could make me some? Ooh, uh, I did get my journeyman's papers, but I've yet to make anything akin to a masterwork. <sighs> you might try in Velen. A dwarf there goes by Fergus. He might help. Guildsmen claim there's no one better anywhere south of the Ponta. So long. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned. This all my bones are wrong.
Yes. Yes. Where's Lena? Something happened? She was getting better. Then Nilf Guardians came, carried her off. Nilf Guardians? Why? What did they want with her? I've no notion. They don't explain what they do. It's not in their custom. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. It is so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes? Got it. I'm sure I can find some.
Driss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew.